Hello and welcome to my series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace with the Psalms. If you like this series, please consider hitting the like button at the bottom. Also, check out this YouTube page for our live stream of our Sunday morning Bible studies and our Sunday morning worship services. And also in the evening, we have another service with our pastor, Mark, where he gives another lesson and offers communion as well as some songs. So in this series, we're going to focus on a psalm to enjoy it as we may enjoy poetry or songs to bring us peace. My point is not to explain what the psalm is saying, but more to give my impressions and invite you to meditate upon it yourself to find your own meditation. Meditation is something that uses the mind rigorously thinking upon something again and again and again until it resonates with meaning. So let's start this with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon your word and the ideas that you've given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So my psalm today will be Psalm number four. And as we look at it, we see David begin with a demand. Hear me, O Lord. Have mercy and please hear me. It's a plea as well that recognizing he's the God of his righteousness and, and he's has given him relief when he's been distressed and he's asking for that mercy. He's asking him again and again to hear his prayer. You hear the frustration here and frustration often leads us to anger. Don't we often feel frustrated to the point maybe of anger? It's okay to voice that. There is a frustration here that he voices about how long God's going to let this go on, how long he's going to let the bad people just be loved and let them do what they want. Then there's the word Selah. Now, in looking it up in the New American Standard Hebrew Lexicon, it's defined uh, as to lift up or to exalt. And some believe that Selah was also a musical notation possibly meaning silence or pause, uh, others to mean end or a louder strain or so forth. But there is a pause here. After his frustrations, he's silencing these bad thoughts. He calms himself. He lifts himself. He lifts God up. He assures himself that God will honor the godly, that God will hear him. Here are some good words to remember that make this psalm one worth meditating upon. Be angry and do not sin. Listen to that. Be angry and do not sin. Aren't these good thoughts to remember? It's okay to feel your anger. And don't let that anger lead you to your own sin. What do we do then instead? That's where the next line comes in. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. And he repeats, Selah. Then after silencing the bad parts of his mind, David is clear thinking. Put trust in the Lord. He knows people don't think anyone will show them any good. We feel this sometimes. David even felt this at the beginning of the song. But the Lord can shine light to us. He can put gladness in our hearts. In the end, we can lie down in peace and sleep. God helps us dwell in safety, and he alone can do that. So this is a great psalm to clear your head when you are frustrated and angry. A good one to keep in your meditations toolbox. I hope you found some solace in this video. And until my next video, keep psalms and carry on.